Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, I'm going to teach you how to do basic mathematical operations on whole numbers. Let's get started by studying the basic mathematical operations. Addition, subtraction, division and multiplication are considered as the basic mathematical operations. So through this video, we are going to see in what order to perform the mathematical operations when there are more than two operations in a sum. Look at this. Here 3 plus 5 minus 6 into 9 is given. The operations are addition, subtraction and multiplication. Though the order of operation lie like this, we must think of how to perform the operations. So let us see the rules and regulations we have to follow while performing mathematical operations. I'm going to discuss this under few cases. The first case is when there is only addition. Simply we can add the numbers in any order as these examples. 3 plus 5 plus 7. Here 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 plus 7 is 15. The same answer you get even if you do it in the other way around. 7 plus 5 is 12 and 12 plus 3 is 15. So while adding when there is only addition, you can follow any order. Let me give you another example. 13 plus 6 plus 4. This gives you 23. So you know 13 plus 6 is 19, 19 plus 4 is 23. Similarly, 4 plus 6 is 10, 10 plus 13 once again gives you 23. So this can be done in any order. The next section we are going to look into is when there is only multiplication. Just like when there is only addition, when there is only multiplication too, you can follow any order. See this. 3 into 5 is 15, 15 into 2 is 30. Similarly, when you go in the other way around, 2 into 5 is 10 and 10 into 3 is 30. So whatever the method you follow, whatever the order you follow, you get the same answer. Look at this example. 3 into 6 is 18, 18 into 10 is 180. The same answer you get when you start from 10 and come up to 3. And now we are going to move into another part that is how to perform a mathematical operation when there is only subtraction. This is different from the previous two cases. Here we have to subtract from left to right that is 12 minus 5 is 7, 7 minus 3 is 4. You don't get a proper answer when you go in reverse that is 3 minus 5 5 minus 12 will give you a different answer which is incorrect. So always when there is only subtraction you have to start from left and come towards right. Let's look into another example. 20 minus 6 is 14, 14 minus 4 is 10. So remember if there is only subtraction to perform we have to start from left and go in the direction of right. Now let's move into the next part that is when there is only division. Just like when there is only subtraction, when there is only division 2, we follow the order from left to right. So that is 12 divided by 3 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Similarly, 20 divided by 5 is 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1. So here always we start from left. And go in the direction of right. Right now up to now we saw how to perform operations when there is only one type of mathematical operations. Now let us move on to another part that is how to perform the operation when there is addition and subtraction. Here too we follow the same method like before that is we simplify from left to right. So look at this example 12 plus 3 
is 15. 15 minus 2 is 13. 20 minus 6 is 14. 14 plus 4 is 18. So here you have to start from left and simplify into right side. Now let us see how to do an operation when there is multiplication and division. Here too we simplify from left to right. So look at this example for further understanding. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 into 2 is 8. Similarly 20 into 6 is 120 divided by 4 gives you 30. So here you have to start from left and move towards the right until you get the final answer. Let's see now how to do a, an operation when there is three or more operations in a line. Now here first of all we have to simplify the divisions and multiplications from left to right and then we have to do the additions and subtractions. Always remember first division and multiplication from left to right and then addition and subtraction from left to right. So let's look into an example and try to understand this very clearly. 12 divided by 3 plus 2 into 5. Now here when you start from left to right you have division, addition and multiplication. So as we have to do division and multiplication first, I select 12 divided by 3 is the operation that should be done first. You know 12 divided by 3 is 4. Then next operation I have to perform is 2 into 5. You know 2 into 5 is 10. So that I write plus 10 here. Now the answer is 14. So here first I performed division, then I performed multiplication and then I did the addition part. Let's look into another example. 25 plus 3 into 2 minus 5. Now here the order of operation is addition, multiplication and subtraction. So according to the rule first of all we have to perform divisions and multiplication. So accordingly I select 3 into 2 as the first operation. So then 25 I write as it is then plus 3 into 2 is 6 minus 5 I write as it is. Now here from left to right I have to perform the operations as it is only addition and subtraction. So 25 plus 6 is 31, 31 minus 5 is 26. So this is the final answer. When there is a bracket how to perform the mathematical operation. Now let us see First of all, we have to simplify the brackets. Whatever there is there within brackets, we have to solve the brackets first and then perform division, multiplication, addition and subtraction as before. So let's look into an example. Here, 12 divided by 4 plus 2 within brackets into 5. So as we should simplify the brackets first, we have to simplify 4 plus 2 first. So that gives you... 12 divided by 4 plus 2 is 6 into 5 and then here from left to right you have division and multiplication. You have to perform the simplification from left to right. 12 divided by 6 is 2, 2 into 5 is 10. So our final answer is 10. And let's look into another example. Here 25 plus 3 into 12 minus 5. So here the brackets must be simplified first, 12 minus 5 is the bracket, so 12 minus 5 is 7. I write the expression as 25 plus 3 into 7. Now here in the next step we have two operations that is addition and multiplication. With the previous knowledge you know we have to perform multiplication first. So I select the multiplication first. I write 25 as it is and you know 3 into 7 is 21. So 25 plus 21 is 46 and that is our final answer for the second example. 
So, this is how we simplify when there is a bracket in the sum given. Right. So, let us look into a summary and this table gives you a summary of the operations and order of performing operations. So, hope I made myself clear with operations on whole numbers. See you with another smart math clip. Until then, goodbye.